go again and we're going for a walk up Knot, uh, probably going by Rountain Gill, we'll see when we get there what the terrain's like and uh, we're setting off from Fellside Farm there, as you can see there's a bit of a car park there and uh, quite easy to get to certainly from Carlisle anyway where I live so the path that we're walking up is the old road to the um, to the mines and as you can see it's pretty distinct um, yeah so a little bit windy today so I don't know if you able to hear this um, well or not but uh, we'll do our best point of note is in Grey Gill this is it here as you can see behind me and also down here nice little gill well it's quite uh, quite a cutting as you can see I'm sure one or two people would love a scramble up that but there you go so yeah, so we're just going to push on now. And this is Dale Beck, that you can see here. And this um, this path pretty much follows Dale Beck. We will be crossing it um, shortly. Uh, well, I say shortly, in about 20 minutes of walking. Maybe not even that actually, but. Uh, yeah, we will be crossing it, um, but there is a footbridge. There are no problems there. Here, Gill, next to the sheep fall. You can see that lovely, nice view here. There's a dog down here that uh, Scout's wanting to have a play with, by the looks of it. There's a bit of a ford here as well, so if you've got hot feet, that's the ideal place to go. Oh. Here we are on the bridge across Dale Beck. Um, you can see behind us, there's some ruins over there. Uh, it's a lovely place. And just a few views going up the valley. You can see it snakes up there. One of the things I find quite amazing is that tree over there. All stood on its own. Quite, uh, quite amazing. So looking down the valley, you can see where we've come from. There's a couple of people walking there. They had a dog with them as well. And you can see that the we got the in the very just below where they are. That's the um, the smelt mill. And there's some other ruins here. I don't know what these were, but uh, some sort of buildings or other. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely little valley. So we're a little bit further on from Burke Gill, and we're starting to get uh, our first glimpses of Routon Gill. You can see up ahead there, that's Rountain Gill, looks pretty formidable. Um, and to the left of that is Iron Crag. Again, looks pretty formidable. Uh, there's lots of paths up here, you know, so you know, we'll, we'll definitely find a way up. But um, I am hoping to see at least one of the levels on the way up. Yeah, what are you doing? So here we are, we're coming to the, uh, the mines now. As you can see there's a lot of uh, ruins here. One or two fixer uppers if anybody fancies it. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting path here. Um, what you can also see is the path which takes you up above the first water waterfall, which looks like a cutting on the side of the mountain, well, the side of the Ballyway Rig, I think they call it. Um, so I will be taking that, but I'm going to detour to the uh, mines first, have a look at the waterfall. So we'll see. Here we are at the bottom of the gill. You can see it's quite impressive. Um, a scrambler's paradise, I would say. Um, actually, the left-hand side looks quite straightforward, it has to be said. So anybody coming up here might go up the left hand side. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna go up this way, this path just up here. Probably escape up over that 
little coal there. I don't know if you can see that. And then we should get to the levels from there. Um, but that was as far as I wrecked the other day, um, which me and Scout, we just sat under the slab of rock where that tree is, up there. Um, and we had our lunch there. So, uh, when we get there, we'll, uh, we'll suss it out and we'll uh, have a crack with you. So I'm gonna head back to the start of that path. Oh, we're gonna go down again up the road. So here we are in the gully, and uh, we've come up that. Uh, oops, that path as I, as I mentioned earlier. And it takes you into a little cliff wall just here, which is a lovely place to have a break actually, though we didn't have one. And uh, you can kind of see the scramble path up here. Yeah, and there's sheep up there, so shouldn't be too difficult. But it was lovely round here. And we're up to the first uh, first level, which is the opening here. Here, boy, scout, you've gone the wrong way, son. Don't you fall, <laughs> little tinker. Well, here we go, first level. Scout, come here. Good boy. Come here. 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 Good lad. Good boy. So there's the level there, or one of the levels anyway. Uh, that doesn't look too hard to get to. We'll go and have a look, Scout, eh? What do you reckon? There it is now. There we go. It's not very slippery at this time of day. Probably this time of the year. Hello! Anybody there? No, there's anybody there anyway. There we are at the first level. It's out behind us. And uh, Bit echoey, very nice though. Stop showing them your bum scout. There we go. There we go. Here 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 we go. Yeah. So that'll be our pass to take just there. There's the uh, the next level. Come on. Oh, that's the next level. This is just before this waterfall here. And from here, that will boot just. Goes up there by the looks of things, quite steep, but a quite well defined path up there, so that's always a good sign. And unless you come looking, you're not going to find places like this. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. As I say, I'm just going to push on, find a little place to have something to eat and then push on for the summit of Knot. Uh, come on, Scout. Oh, good boy. Good lad. Oops. A little bit slippy there. 
think you found a better route there, Scout, actually. There we go. Scout, come. You know what? I think this is where we're going to have our tea, son. Yeah. Oh no. Looks right up just beyond those rocks there. That looks like a place we can have a sit down in the scran. Come on in. Scout, come. Good boy. There we go. Spot on, isn't it? Lovely. There's a waterfall. Look at that kid. Go on. Go on. Good boy. Good boy. Come on in. Go fast. No, no. sure with this bit but we'll see how we get on as I would say oh, look at that bit of a stake in there so it does seem a well trodden path this so the human uh, is okay A nice breeze now. Oh. So we're just following the sheep track at the moment. Come on. Up the right hand side of the gill. I think the dramatic bit has gone now. And there's not in front of us, I would say. Or is it not? This is the question. Oh, that breeze is beautiful. That clammy, uh, clammy gill, and all the sweating. <laughs> uh, go across here, shall we, son? Yeah, go across here. Yeah. You can have a nice drink in here. Yeah. Have a drink. Yeah. I'll have one of those, right? And beat a bit of cryptosporidium. Hey, very nice. Hey. 
find somewhere else. Oh, the place. Yeah, it's easy, a hell of a place. Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep left here and go up this gill and uh, just mainly the only reason for me doing that is because there is a sheep path here so hopefully it won't take us into a sticky end but uh, once we get up to the top of here we'll bear right and up onto knot So oh, there's a point of reference. We're just about in Millamoss here, aren't we, kid? But there's not. Or is it not? We're just going to the summit of not. Which is that there, just up there, we're probably just going to push straight up despite the steepness of it or we could go a zigzag like that but we'll see, there's a bit of a cloud coming in there, don't rain, I haven't brought my coat with us there's a little ruin here, uh, old sheep fold by the looks of it so that's where we've just come up and it was horrible you know, just uh, heathered and, uh, and peat so I wouldn't recommend that to anybody, but uh, you know, I suppose if you're coming up this hill, I suppose you've got to put up with it though, they could have detoured off probably and come up an easier bit, but either way we've just come straight up and uh, like I say, headed for this here, this ruined sheepfold. So now we're just going to push on to the summit and uh, we need to so, here we go, this is the summit of Knot which is not very interesting and it looks a bit like a crown green a crown uh, green bowling uh, course so what we're going to do now is we're going to head down we're going to go by a high pike hopefully, hopefully great lingley hill um, bothy as well probably stop in there and have a little bit bite to eat with the dog so that's our next thingy. So from uh, from Knot, it's goodbye for now. Well, here we are, we're still coming down off uh, Knot. That ahead of us, again, pretty distinct. Now we can see the Bothy from here. Uh, you might not be able to see it in the distance there, but the path goes straight up to that, so, so it's very easy. It's a bit um, peaty, a bit boggy. But nothing, certainly in the weather like it is today, it's nothing too, uh, too nasty. So that's get a bit steeper, uh, the further down that you get. Um, I'm not sure what they call this place, Summit Moss, which is, uh, <laughs> well, there you go, that's why it's probably so some, some boggy. So, uh, nice steep bit here. As you can see, and, uh, I don't know if you can see the shadow of the bothy there, but that's where we're headed, and then we're headed up onto High Pike, and you can see the uh, the shelter up there. So we'll have, have our supper on one of those, I would say, either the bothy or up at the top of High Pike. Probably the bothy, because I'm hungry. So we'll see you there once we get there. Bothy on Great Lingy Hill and the last time I was here I was about 10 or 11 year old and we've uh, we'd come here with um, with the school primary well primary school in them days and uh, we were all piled in here come here boy you don't like it in there do you <laughs> not surprised so so yeah and there was a diary in there then but uh, there isn't one there anymore, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, anyway, just a little story. There was uh, 
one of our one of my mates, Des Stoke, or I call him. Nice fella. But he was always a little bit of a rogue when he was at school. Um, he started reading one of the stories out to all the kids. I don't know where the teachers were at this time. Probably outside smoking or something. So uh, he starts reading this story, and it was some guy's experience on here um, one evening with a young lady. So. You can imagine a load of 10 and 11 year olds giggling like buggery. So anyway, that's the story of Lingy Hood. And this is it here. As you can see, this little old bothy. One or two little bits and pieces still in there. Chair. And obviously you see the platform there. A lot of uh, graffiti, I have to say. Uh, Oh, that's Lingy Hill. It's still got the desk there, but as I say, I don't think it doesn't look like there's the diary in there, unless this is it. Yeah. It's a shame. Oh, could this be it? Have a look. Look at this book here. Da -da -da. David Broach. Recognise that name. Doesn't go back to 1975 though, I'm afraid. Never mind. 2016. One or two people have stopped up here. Yep. Might as well put my own name in there. So, we'll call that it for now, and we'll next see you on High Pike, I would imagine. Yeah, stones on the way to uh, High Pike which is just ahead of us but, uh, that's where we just came from uh, not in the distance there skid all behind it come down round onto this path here past the hut past that sheep fold and now we're heading to High Pike, which isn't too far away. Should be there by seven o'clock, I would say. There's my crazy dog in the distance. I've let him off the lead up here. He's not going to come to any harm. Scout! Here, boy! Here, Dane! He's a good lad. He's a good boy. Here you are. Here you are. Enjoying yourself, aren't you? Rolling around in everything. So yeah, this is Hairstones in between the two. Uh, Great Lingy Hill and uh, High Pike. So, next stop, High Pike. And food, because I haven't had any yet. Well, nothing worth talking about anyway. And I'm sure Scouts will be quite happy to hear that. So, see you on the summit of High Pike. summit of High Pike and a little bit of wind. It's a lovely evening though. It's been a hard day though I have to say. Um, what with the scramble up Routon, Routon Gill which uh, was exhilarating I have to say. It was the first time I've ever been up there. Um, and then the walk up onto Knot which was tedious to say the least. Um, Lingy Hill, good to see Lingy Hill again and the and the boffy on there. And it wasn't that long ago I was up on here actually, uh, so there's no changes on here. So this is a nice place, nice views from here, I have to say. With uh, the likes of Carrick Fell there, Borscale Fell and Borscale Tarn, just in that, uh, see where it's kind of scooped out there. Well, just in there there's a tarn. And of course Blencathra, which is uh, well again a nice uh, a nice view of uh, Manadale Crags and what have you and uh, Sharp Edge and, and Foul Crags and you know whatever you want anyway. Uh, of course in the distance there uh, we've got uh, Skidor. Not. Oh, you know, good day. That's 
set off. Well, I set off at what? It's about half three, four o'clock, and it's seven o'clock now. So we're gonna have a quarter of an hour for eats, and then we're just gonna go straight off here, following the Cumbrian Way, um, down to an old disused mine, and uh, straight back to Fellside. Hopefully back there by eight. Uh, but definitely back there by half past anyway. Okay, so I'll maybe do a few views on the way down, uh, just see how time's pressing. What do you think, doggy? Eh? You just want your treats, don't you, buddy? Yes, you do. Yes, you do, our kid. <laughs> Say ta ta. Ta ta. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that nice? Now chew it! Oh, monkey. There you go. There you go. Come on, Paul. There you go. Chew it! Sit! Sit! Oh, sit! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, aren't you? You'll have some yourself, actually. <laughs> 